All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Tipton, and as we continue our study of integers, we'll be learning about absolute value today. Let's start by uh, just defining absolute value. I'm going to go ahead and use AV as an abbreviation. Absolute value is a number's distance from zero. How far a number is away from zero numbers distance from zero and I'm gonna go ahead and underline the word distance that's kind of important alright so as we look here at the number line how far away is 3 from 0 I'm asking what is the absolute value of 3 well it's 1 2 3 places away from 0 so the absolute value of 3 is 3 okay what is the absolute value of 4? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 places away from 0. So the absolute value of 4 is 4. How about the absolute value of negative 2? Well, again, it is 1, 2 places away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 negative 5. What's the absolute value of negative 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is 5 places away from 0. Okay. Uh, the way you write an absolute value are with some straight bars like this out, outside a number. Okay. So what this says here is the absolute value of 3 which we said was 3 because it's 3 places away from 0 we said the absolute value of 4 was 4 again because it's 4 places away from 0 uh, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 because it's 2 places away from 0 and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 because it's 5 places away from 0 all right. So if you notice, all of our absolute values, whether the number, whether the integer we were talking about was positive or negative, all of our absolute values are positive. Okay, and that's a big deal. Such a big deal. We're even going to write something down. All right. Absolute value AV is always positive writing it in all caps because it's a big deal absolute value is always oops, positive because distance distance is always positive okay we said that absolute value is a numbers distance from zero and because distance is positive, that means absolute values are going to be positive. You can't have negative distance. All right? Um, Taco Bell is four miles from my house. If I get in my car and I drive backwards to Taco Bell, I'm still traveling four miles even though I'm going backwards. There's no such thing as a negative distance. Does that make sense? All right. Um, Let's evaluate some expressions that involve absolute value. Okay, Example 1, just real simple. This says the absolute value of negative 47 is how much? 47. It's 47 places away from 0. Piece of cake. Uh, let's do a little harder. Let's say the absolute value of 9 plus the absolute value of negative 4. Okay, we're going to treat these absolute values kind of like parentheses. We're going to take care of what's inside the absolute values first. Uh, the absolute value of 9 is 9, and the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. So there we get 9 plus 4 is 13. This, uh, the 9 was 9 places away from 0. The negative 4 was 4 places away from 0. That gives us a total of 13, a sum of 13. 
Okay. Example three. Let's do the absolute value of negative 18 minus the absolute value of negative 8. You might be thinking, well, I don't, I don't know how to do negatives. Well, you don't have to know how to do negatives yet. These are absolute values, and absolute values are always positive. So we're going to end up with 18 minus 8, which is 10. Piece of cake. Next, absolute value of 5 times 2, all that inside the absolute value, minus negative 6. Okay, again, we're going to take care of what's inside the absolute value first, and we know that 5 times 2 is 10. Still minus the absolute value of negative 6. All that I did from the first line to the second line was do the 5 times 2. Now I'm going to do the absolute values. 10 is 10 away from 0. Negative 6 is 6 away from 0. 10 minus 6 is 4. All right. Absolute value. There you go. Make sure your notes are done. And we'll see you tomorrow.